Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the FPGA mean field 03 simulation. So, from previous video, we already have this code. Okay. So now, let's uh, create the test bench. For the test bench, we uh, added the time scale like this. We also added some common information to trace the file. This is a mean field test bench module. We save it. Save. Save it. And this is store V means very local code. We save it. Next, we define the uh, clock period. So this is uh, 10 nanosecond. Okay. Next, we define the module module name. The module name is this one, mean field test bench. Next, we will define our test target. Our test target is like this. So this is our test target from previous video. Is this one? Okay, we test this one. So this is the test target. This is all the interface. All the input signal will define as a register value. So we define the input signal as the register value. Clock, reset, enable, date, date, input. All the output signal we define as the while, while value, while type. It will be like this. It's a while type, while done output signal, date output signal. Okay. So next we define the clock. We create the clock. The clock is like this. We initial the clock at high level and use this always block to create the clock. The last thing we will um, create the test flow, okay? The test flow will be like this. So this is the initial begin. At the very beginning, we reset the system. We reset the system. Reset, N, N means low level reset. Put it zero. When system is reset, we put all the input signal at zero. Okay. After one clock, after one period clock, we finish reset. We finish reset. After one clock, we enable the system. We enable the system. Next, we will use the for loop. The for loop to create the input data, create the input data increased by one. Okay, increased by one. We input 10 data. Every data will delay for one clock. For one clock. After that, we make the input data at zero. Delay one clock. We make the enable signal at zero. We finish the, after 10 clock period, we stop the simulation. We stop the simulation, okay? So next we will um, create the model sim project to simulate it. Okay, let me open my model sim software. Okay, so this is my model sim software. So let's open and let's create one project, new one project. So the project name is mean field. 
the project location, we will put it under this folder. Okay. Put it into this folder. Click OK. It will create the project. We added the existing file. File name. Browser. Click the browser button. Go up. And click this one. And uh, press the shift key on your keyboard. And click another one. Open. Click OK. Close. Next step. Click any file and click here, compile all. It will begin to compile. Okay, we get one error here. Let's take a look what's the error. Okay, is this line? Let's take a look. The last thing. Okay, we miss one thing here. We miss the end module. We need to uh, edit the end module here. Okay. So let's close it and compile it again. Compile here in a moment. Okay, it finished. Successful. And we uh, click here. Star simulation. Click the walk. Click here. Click OK. It will open the simulation interface. Okay, so this is a simulation interface. We added all the signal uh, in the region into the waveform, into the waveform interface. Move a little bit. Move this a little bit. And we click this one. And we set in the display format as uh, unsighted. This one is also unsighted. Okay. So next, we setting the timing, simulation timing like this. Okay, we move a little bit over here. And then we run it here, run. Okay, it will stop the simulation here. It will stop in the stop position. And we go back to the waveform. Click the click here. Okay, so you will see the signal is here. So first, this is the clock. Clock. This is a reset. Low level reset. Low level reset. This is the enable. We enable the system at this uh, begin from this position, end from here. So this is the input data. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So this is the done signal. After the last data, here is output. One clock done signal. And this is the output data. Output data. So this is uh, this is uh, five. 
So let's take a look at whether the file is the correct data or not. Okay. So um, from we added uh, addition information here. So the sum we all uh, added from the like uh, uh, one. Who will increase, will sum up from one to. So this sum up will uh, added the. Will sum up from one to ten. Uh, it equal to uh, 55. So if the um, sum minus minimal and uh, the maximum will like this 55 minus 1 minus 10 so it will equal to 44 and uh, if the sum divided by 8 it should be 44 divided by 8 it should be 5.5 5. so we just take the uh, integer part so the output data should be uh, 5 we just take the uh, integer part so the output data is correct okay it is fine. Okay. So that's it. And this is the simulation for the FPGA mean field 03. I'm Michael. See you next time.